Some place that's resilient would be Southwest Florida and us here, right? We've been powering through the tropics and so far so good, but we have our eyes on the system tagged today as Invest 97L. This is the same system that we have been focusing on. National Hurricane Center currently has this uh, bumped up for a higher chance of development within the next week, next two days. I did want to point out that we dropped the other system that was out in the Atlantic Basin. However, we have that little seedling that's coming off the West Coast Africa, that wave there, 60% chance of development with that system. But back to this one, closer to home, uh, there is an 80% chance of development within the next several days. Spaghetti plots did come out today, and they have been updating throughout the afternoon. Once it was named Invest 97L, that's when the spaghetti plots started to get running. Now, we're not going to have a cone on this thing until it becomes a potential tropical cyclone, a PTC, or a tropical depression. And we're likely going to get that update tomorrow. I didn't point out on the satellite, we are starting to see those storms really flare up on the satellite radar. Uh, and we are starting to see a little bit of a better circulation. So I think within the next 24 hours, we're going to have a storm not so much named yet. The next name is Helene, but getting closer there. All right, so the spaghetti models you see mostly in an agreement here towards the Florida panhandle. This is subject to change until we get that strong circulation going and we really have this system uh, more organized. It's hard to say how much those models will shift back and forth. There's a couple factors in play. One of the things that we're looking at here would be the wind shear. I have this pause tomorrow. This area highlighted in green here. This is a sweet spot for that storm to develop. Once that circulation gets going in between the Yucatan Peninsula and Cuba, we have lighter winds there. That's something that these tropical systems love. They can form easily and keep their strength and get even stronger, intensify from there especially when it's over a warm basin of water such as the Gulf of Mexico. But again, we want everybody to be prepared and not panic. And we're going to give you the cone soon as we receive it. We have to get it to a PTC status at least. Here's the GFS model. Again, here's that sweet spot in between Cuba and the Yucatan Peninsula. Watch this as we go a little bit further towards Thursday. The current models really are favoring it on the west coast of uh, Florida, the eastern side of the Gulf, northern side of the Gulf, and again around the panhandle. But please don't just focus on that because it absolutely can change. And of course, any changes that we receive, we're going to deliver them to you.